Elton and John? Um, yeah, I, we're not really thinking about that. Ladder positions, finishes, uh, it's all been about uh, working really hard to become a better team. And, um, you know, from today's win, we were a bit disappointed with our second half um, and, and some aspects of the first half. So uh, our focus is on around improving those areas and um, not worried too much about ladder position and finishes at this stage. Did you think, did you sense they were a bit flat today? Or no, not flat, but just made some poor decisions in the conditions. Um, you know, some of our, our poor turnovers that just go handed easy goals to the opposition um, we can't afford to do in big games. It was just like, like those short kicks sort of in defence going yep. straight back into the corridor, I think. Straight at the opposition. Yeah, they're the ones we're trying to avoid. Mm. There would, yep. It did seem to be quite a, uh, almost yeah. a tendency to do in that boundary. Yeah. Yeah, have those days, I think, because um, you know, it's not really good enough for where we want to be at to, to make those sort of turnovers. Shannon Hurst performance today? Yeah, very good again. Yeah, he's in good touch and to finish with three goals, uh, they're all pretty good goals, I think. Yeah. yeah. Has there been anything tactically different over the past month that you've, you've done with him? Because he seems to have really got a lot of the ball yeah. and been really good with it. N- nothing, uh, nothing that like major, no. Is he a player though, that you try to get the ball in his hands as much as possible? Um, not really, no, but if, uh, if the opposition want to have a free player inside our 50, then one of our backs is going to be loose and um, teams obviously don't want it to be Hearn, but he's reading the game pretty well. You mixed it up a bit in the centre square and you seem to get a reasonable result this week. Yeah, yeah, really pleased for Tom because he hasn't played much footy in the last two or three weeks. He's travelled as the emergency, and um, but he's, uh, he's, he's a real professional about getting the absolute best out of himself. So we were really confident that, uh, that he would still perform well today even though he hadn't had much footy and really pleased with, uh, with his output. Is the next step for this team to beat somebody above them on the ladder? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's, uh, that, that will mean we're really improving, yep. So, um, yeah, th- we've got those challenges coming up in the next few weeks. And the Blues, have you, have you seen them? Uh, very exciting, yeah. I think they've progressed um, just how they, they would have been planning. Um, you know, been in the finals for a few years in a row now and uh, ready to show that they're, they're uh, better than just making the finals and they're really proving that. What was the biggest positive you think to come out of today from your perspective? Um... Probably the win was. It's really important for us to uh, win all our games. We, we don't. We're still a developing team, and there's no games that I put down as uh, that we expect to win. I think uh, you know we, we've still got a long way to go to improve and play the type of football that um, we need to play to become one of the uh, Premiership challenging sides. So, um, so we still won the game today, and I would say then with the way the boys played, with uh, rotating, we were sure we having corns on him early, and then fighting back after not getting much of it early. Great learning curve for Luke. Um, yeah, just the change up through the midfield that um, Lacra didn't go in there that much today. Nat Nui did some good stuff in there. We used him as a mid for a short period. Um, Swift going through there and Ebert when he came on as a sub, going, um, especially in the last quarter, more through the midfield, I thought he was good. You've got eight wins now, John. Would you say that, that the winning culture is almost back to what it was a few years ago? Um, it's, it's ahead of last year, I can say that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twice as ahead. Yeah, that's right, yeah. No, it's, um, it's, uh, it's hard to compare seasons to seasons and what the feelings are. We always move on so quick, but uh, the players are starting to demand more of each other in terms of what they expect, and that's the culture you like to see. And you mentioned Shuey before with Corns, but also with Rosa as well. He's sort of like um, an unheralded hero in there, but he also had to fight pretty hard against Corns too. Yeah, yeah, Corns went to him for a little while, and um, and that's credit. Matt has become uh, a real key player in the side. You know, he's um, he's a mature and a senior player now, and he's performing very, very consistently. How did Adam Selwood pull up after that heavy Um There was no no, no real report. No, just. Probably prefer it him than me or you, but <laughs> but he's pulled up all right. And the rest of the squad all, all good. Yeah, yeah. Scott Selwood came off a bit towards the. Yeah, not not from any issue that I know of. No, so probably just tired. No, no worries. Thank you. Thanks, guys.